What's going on? It's your boy Thorough Alexander, aka the Grand Architect, and today I'll be doing a hike, which is in the Superstitious Mountains, located in Boulder Canyon. So if you get here early enough, this area right here, just right after you come across the bridge, this is where you normally park. If you get here early, then the trail starts right here. And you're gonna start, you're gonna follow the sign. It says Boulder Canyon Trail. If you'd like to see my Boulder Canyon Trail, you can check out my previous, one of my previous videos, Boulder Canyon Trail, as we will be following the entire Boulder Canyon Trail. So I'm going to continue the video from the Boulder Canyon viewpoint. So I've managed to spot some big horn sheep. We are going to continue the hike. Once you get right here, you're gonna step over these rocks and you're gonna climb up. So after the Boulder Canyon viewpoint, keep in mind that you're gonna be going down for a while because you're going down to the creek bed or the river that you saw in the valley previously. Also, depending on the time of year that you're out here, you're gonna wanna be vigilant of rattlesnakes. The trail looks like the entire way is pretty much like this, rocky, so of course, you want to wear the right shoes. So when you get here, it's going to look like you can go left, but that's a wash. So you're not going to go that way. You're going to continue on the path going straight. You're not going to go that way either because that is a wash. So you're going to go straight continue so at this part or at this point in the trail chances are you, you might not pass anybody not entirely too sure what that structure is right there but it does look pretty cool So there are two ways to get there from this point where I am. Charles is going to come to a fork and we are going to go left. Which would be the shorter way according to all trails. Once you reach the creek, you'll see this cairn right here. Creek. So I'm gonna go to the left. We keep following the river. And then the rocks right here are gonna be kind of reddish on the bank. 
there'll be lots of currents along the way so don't worry however i would recommend using a gps if you're gonna go the river route we are still following the creek bed i met these two hikers as i was following the creek field and his wife laura and yes his name is field and he does live up to that name in my opinion this is the most scenic way to battleship there are a lot of areas just like this along the trail if you follow it this way unfortunately i couldn't video all of them but one thing to keep in mind is that as you get closer to the battleship you will be doing a bit more boulder hopping so be prepared for that these are the kind of views that you're not gonna see sitting on the couch folks to continue going this way see exactly how they're doing it there so we're going to to get over it so right before we turn i found this area right here it's really beautiful man i mean there's a pool you could go swimming here So Battleship is right up there behind me. So if you look from this side, this is what it looks like. At this point in the trail, Field and his wife and I parted ways and I continued on a better show. And we are going to continue on our hike. Side here, perfect place to camp. Put your back to the canyon. So, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is Battleship official Battleship Mountain. Across, you see the canyon, you see the view. We just came from that way. That is it, folks. Let's see if we can get closer still. So once you make it to this point, you're gonna follow this trail to the right. You can barely see it, but it's marked on all the trails. It's gonna take you to where you see those people. It's gonna take you to the battleship. background you can see weaver's needle it's weaver's needle i've also done a previous hike to weaver's needle from the peralta trail so you can check that out here at the base of Battleship. Here's a view from the base of Battleship. This is the actual base of Battleship. To continue on the trail, you have to climb that 
So if you can't climb that, don't feel like you're missing out. The, the view as you can see is very nice. So coming down from the mountain, from Battleship Mountain, you're gonna come this way. You're gonna essentially follow the trail on all trails, but instead of going back the way we came, we're gonna loop around, so it's gonna be a lot easier. So we're gonna continue to go this way. It starts off as if we're heading towards Weaver's Needle. This is actually an easier way to get back down. So this is the second time crossing the river. You'll have to do seven river crossings on the way back, but don't worry, they're all like this. They're all pretty easy. I believe I managed to capture like five of them. So we're coming up on the second water crossing. And they all seem to have cairns that point the way. There, water crossing. And there's a cairn across the river. It's a creek. As you can see. So this is another river crossing. Well, right here is a nice area. You'll probably go swimming right there. We essentially have to cross about right here. from the trail continues so we are at another river crossing At this point, we are going to, I'm not gonna go left. That way actually leads to the official Battleship Mountain Trailhead starting point. This is the actual Battleship Trail that I have highlighted here. Which we did not start from. Hey, look at that bird nest. You guys can see it, but there's a nest right there. Okay, so we're not gonna go left. We're going to go right. Where it says Boulder Canyon Trail 103. So once you get to this point, you 
you're gonna feel like the trail is taking you that way, but you're actually gonna cross right here. There's a Karen up there. My all trails, shout out to all trails, is leading me this way as well. And as you can see, there's a Karen that also leads the way. See the beautiful colors in the canyon. So I've officially lost count of what river crossing this is. That's the way we're going to go. Starts back over there by that cactus. Ah. Once you reach the red dirt, the trail is going to start going up, so you're going to feel like there's no more water crossings, but the trail will go back down and there will be one more. So on your way back, there's an area right here that you're going to come across, which I don't know anything about this area. It's actually a spring bed. And you have this area here, this hole that's down here. Essentially a fire pit. I mean, it looks like a great place to, to camp, I guess, if you're backpacking. This is the perfect backpacking spot. Apparently. We're going to continue on our way. Okay, folks, so this is officially the last water crossing. Follow the can, and from here, you're going to be going up. So, I'm gonna take a break and I will continue in a bit. So, I am back on trail, and this is where the trail, remember in the beginning when I started, I went that way. So, now I'm back to where the trail connects. So, from here, I won't be filming. I'm going to sign out from this point because you've already seen what the trail looks like going back from that way. It's your boy Thor Alexander signing out from Boulder Canyon to Battleship Loop.